Hey guys, HDV here and welcome to a brand new video. Today we're going to be going over some new DLC leaks for the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet's Indigo Disc and Teal Mask. Riddler Q has once again been tweeting out some new information about the DLC. There's a lot of stuff to talk about and break down today. So if you're excited for the video, as always, make sure to drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes, it really helps out. Leave a comment with your thoughts on anything we cover in today's video. Subscribe if you're brand new for daily Pokemon content. Ring the notification bell. With all of that out of the way though, Let's get into the video, and I really hope that you enjoy. So, starting things off, Riddler Q's first tweet is about, I think her name is Briar, one of the new characters introduced in the Indigo Disc and the Teal Mask. Of course, she is going to be in uh, both DLCs, I'm pretty sure. Uh, but Riddler Q saying, do you think she is the creation from Imagination Power or a contratization of books and just an ordinary lady. And then he goes on to say, do you think it would be bad taste for Turo if she is a fusion of AI and books? So right here, I think he's saying, you know, if she's going to be a paradox herself, like is she a creation from imagination, just like uh, a lot of the theories are about paradox forms, that they are created from imagination. And I actually think that she potentially could be. I think she's going to be like a paradox version of like Heath or something like that. She has a lot of resemblances to Heath, like the haircut, uh, the eyebrows. I mean, she looks like an evil character anyway. Like, look at the red eyes that she has. Like, her eyes just look evil. She's got the terror symbol um, as her earrings. I've got a video gonna go where I'm going to go over, like, all of the different hints towards her being related to Heath and being an evil character. But like I say, just to quickly go over the obvious ones, here's the same as Heath's eyebrows the same as Heath's. She's got red evil eyes. She has these terror earrings. She literally has violet and uh, the violet and scarlet colors on her outfit. She also has the different symbols on the edge of the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet logos on her like collar here in the bottom of this um, suit jacket. So yeah, there's a lot of kind of hints towards her being some sort of relation to Heath, but she potentially could also be a paradox form of Heath. Like if it is true that like Heath discovered the hidden treasure of area zero and he was able to imagine all these paradox pokemon maybe he like i don't know was dying or something and he wanted to create a paradox version of himself to carry on his legacy or something and that very well could be briar um I, again that's like completely out there but the fact that he says do you think she is uh, the creation from imagination power or something from the books or is she just an ordinary lady she she's got way too many design features of like heath to be like an ordinary lady if she hasn't got some sort of big plot line i will be very very surprised uh, i'm not sure what he means by this other one here though where he says do you think it would be a bad taste for turo if she is a fusion of ai and books so obviously i'm not sure if he's talking about like the real turo or the ai turo that like went away so i'm not really sure about that one there but um either way that's quite a lot of information about this character and i think it could maybe relate to her being some sort of like paradox form or whatever herself because you know it's not just Pokemon that can be paradox forms. I'm assuming humans can be as well. Uh, we also have this post here saying, pay attention to the colorful frames, which will help you to understand how this thing works. So this is talking about the 19th Terra type um, that obviously was revealed in the latest like trailers and stuff like that. Not really too sure what he's talking about here. Uh, again, we're, we're very much up in the air about how this whole 19th Terra type thing works. Some people think it like gives stab to every move. Some people think it gives you like uh, no stab or like no or like a kind of typeless thing where you can hit everything but it's for like neutral damage uh, we really don't know there's a lot of theories and stuff about it i've also got a video going over uh, that coming out soon as well i don't think we'll find out much more about it until after the teal mask drops which is obviously um mid-september and we'll probably get an Indigo Disc trailer maybe in like October or November or something like that with, I'm hoping, a release of December. Um, but yeah, I think in the next trailer, we'll probably get Paradox Entei, Paradox Terrakion, some stuff about this 19th Terra type. Um, but uh, yeah, not really too sure what to make of this one. Like I say, it just says pay attention to the colorful frames. So I'm assuming that's just like the rainbow colors and stuff in like the background. Uh, we also have this post here saying poison grass, fire, water, ice, Fairy, Electric, Dragon, Normal, Fighting, Psychic, Rock, Flying, Ground, Bug, Ghost, Dark, Steel. And then he says, this order is sus. And then we have Pearl Enthusiast also here saying, I just noticed that this is the order that it's shown in the trailer. So I don't know if this helps like kind of break down what this 19th Terror type thing is going to be. If it's like some sort of order. Uh, maybe they've all got like new kind of um, types that are like super effective and not very effective against things. I highly doubt that because that would be so, so, so confusing. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure why the order has anything to do with it, but uh, unless he's talking about this is the way they're going to get revealed or something, maybe, you know, um, but either way, I really don't know what to make sure of this one either. We've got people talking about it as well, um, just kind of saying, you know, uh, any meaning behind the typings uh, chart behind Briar, which again could be something again, Briar popping up. 
the three rows are electric grass and ice from the top down and Briar is specifically covering the ice column also important to note that there are two question marks for the water column and the flying column both are super effective so again more kind of Briar um information that we could be kind of like going over and stuff but this is very vague i'm sure more people will be like breaking down stuff about this uh we also have him here saying tea or coffee now this is obviously a reference to tuesday's uh new trailer drop again we are getting information on the 22nd of august it is most likely going to be a regional fake or a regional form of synesty everything adds up to that like I say, the, the way it was kind of revealed uh, originally was that there was like a tea party and then obviously they got the information that it was going to be something happening on the 22nd of August. Um, as well as that, we also know that, that we are getting new forms of Galarian Pokemon in the Scarlet and Violet DLC, such as Applin and Duraludon. And now we're obviously going to probably get the Sinistee one as well. And the fact that he here says, you know, tea or coffee uh, just kind of amplifies the fact that it is going to be based around Sinistee. Like it's the only tea Pokemon that we have. Uh, and also, as well as this, we have Pi uh, Pyoro here also kind of replying to this tweet. Um, so basically, originally it was Jan kind of posting here. Now, obviously, Jan isn't like a leaker or anything like that, or I don't think they claim themselves to be, but I generally think they may have some inside knowledge. I do know that they talk to Riddler Koo quite a bit on like Twitter, so I'm not sure if Riddler Koo told them something. Um, but either way, Jan kind of posted this image of a cup of tea and then a cake, and this was before um, the Scarlet and Violet DLC trailer at the Presents as well. So this was before Diplin was revealed, um, our Caledon was revealed, stuff like that. So they posted a cup of tea and then a cake, they posted a snake and then a tree. They posted like a city and then they posted three peaches and then they posted like a starry-eyed emoji, a monkey, a couple of dogs and then two turtles as well. And then Puro here saying, in my opinion, the third line is our uh, Caledon, which is the city. Uh, he then goes on to say, and the fifth line is the legendaries and the loyal three. Um, and then he goes on to say, you'll see the first line and something else um in there another reply in the near future so he's obviously referencing like in in the kind of um in in this kind of like emoji thing here we're gonna see these in the future so obviously the snake is most likely aplin and then the evolution of aplin again which we are expecting to see in either the indigo disc or the teal mask could be some sort of tree so it could be like an apple evolving into a tree i guess some way shape or form uh, we also obviously have the building for our caledon i'm not sure what the three peaches are i'm guessing that's like the loyal three or something and then the bottom line is like um the terrapagos turtle and then obviously ogapon and stuff and then the top line is obviously the cup of tea which is Sinistee, and then that looks like it might be evolving into some sort of cake pokemon so maybe uh poltergeist is instead some sort of cake instead of uh, like the the teapot so i don't know if both of these are going to get revealed i mean this looks to be like the way it's going like I say this was posted before the presents and we also have puro here saying you'll see the first line so obviously the first line is the cup of tea and the piece of cake uh, and something else in there another reply in the near future so i'm assuming the the thing we're going to see on tuesday is the cup of tea and potentially the evolution being the cake and then the uh, other thing that we're going to see in the near future is probably diplin's evolution so that's just kind of my two cents on that um, again, not confirmed, but like I say, it, it looks very much like that is what they're going to be doing. So I would expect to see some sort of Sinistee regional fake on Tuesday and then potentially some sort of like cake form of Poltergeist as well. And obviously this is kind of like all the Pokemon we're expecting to see, uh, which we've gone, gone over already, but like this was tweeted out by Eduardo, you know, saying Ogapon, three potential forms plus the Terra State, uh, which is grass, fire, water, uh, water, and then potentially rock and ghost. Okie Dogie, which is Fighting Poison, Monkey Dory, which is Psychic Poison, Pheasantipity, which is Fairy Poison, uh, Diplin, which is going to be Grass Dragon, and then the Regional Fake of Sinistee, which is obviously another form, and then the Regional Fake of Poltergeist, which again is probably going to be the, the Cake, and then also the Timeless Woods Pokemon, which potentially could be a thing that we see, and then in Part 2, the Indigo Disc, we have Terrapagos, which is plus one form, uh, obviously plus the Terra State, and that could be Rock Dragon, Raging Bolt, which is Electric Dragon, Iron Crown, which is Steel Psychic, Paradox Entei, which is Fire Dragon, Paradox Terrakion, which is Rock Psychic, or Caledon, which is Steel Dragon, most likely going to be getting Diplin's Evolution, which is going to be the Tree, which is probably also going to be Grass Dragon, and then Kit Kitakami Folk uh, Tale follow-up in Part 2, and then maybe an extra Mythical as well. So that seemingly is what we're going to be getting for the kind of uh, DLC Pokemon. But it kind of all breaks it down onto what we're expecting to see. Like I say, Tuesday I'm excited for, but you know, like we kind of know what it is going to be now. Um, so... You know, it's obviously still exciting, but I don't know if like I'm that excited about Sinistee and Poltergeist getting a form. It is weird seeing these Pokemon that were kind of revealed recently 
um, in Generation 8 getting regional forms. Like, I'd much rather Johto Pokemon got them or, like, Hoenn Pokemon got them or some and something like that. Because, um, yeah, I don't know. Like, Generation six, uh, Generation 8 it didn't come out. Like, it was literally last generation. Um, so, yeah, not really sure how I feel about that. But either way, that's going to be everything for today's video. What are your thoughts on all the latest leaks for the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet DLC? Uh, obviously, let me know your thoughts on Bride. Do you think she is evil? Again, I've got a video going over everything in detail coming out um, relatively soon. Uh, and then what are your thoughts on how this could maybe affect the 19th Terror type? And what are your thoughts on the potential... Diplin Evolution being a tree and also the Poltergeist and Sinistee regional face. Let me know your thoughts on all that. That's going to be everything from me though. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you're brand new. Ring the notification bell. Until next time, peace.